up guys? I am out here on the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes today with Ben. We're on West Lake Toho to be exact. Um, not shiner fishing today, we're artificial lure fishing. We're out here on a shell bed. I got him throwing a worm, big 10 inch uh, ribbon tail worm. I'm gonna start out with a lipless crankbait here. We're gonna be hitting some brush piles later. I did it yesterday. They're dropping the water levels right now on the whole Kissimmee chain as we're getting into the summertime. We're getting close to summer. It's mid-April here. Um, normally we're not catching them on brush piles, but for because the water's low and we don't have a lot of main lake hydrilla right now, um, these fish are all on outside grass lines and they are on um, brush piles. So I caught them pretty good yesterday on it. We're gonna do some of that today. I got a lot of new subscribers since I did my 13 fishing giveaway uh, last month. I got another big giveaway coming out. I'm not announcing it yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to give away, but it's going to be bigger and better than the last one. So uh, thanks to all the new subscribers and all the people that have been watching. Um, please keep sharing my videos. I appreciate it and uh, see what, how many fish we can catch today. Stay tuned. Lake Toho is all about right there. Giant bass, <laughs> nine inch bass on 10 inch worm. Number one, we're gonna try and catch 20 pounds this morning. Morning monster. Yeah, we gotta catch uh, 19 and a half more pounds. He goes, there you go. First fish on the brush pile. Oh, that's a good one. My camera's running. Oh, geez. That was close to the boat too, wasn't it? I help you land him. Yeah, that's the brown tree. Is he stripping drag out? I think I've got winched down too. I think it wanted to, but I've got it winched down. Whoa! We are fishing brush piles now, and we literally, is that your first cast? Second. Second cast. We've got what we think is a good one on here. Should be a one pounder. <laughs> if it's a one pounder, oh, gee, oh, watch out for that talon. There you go. Still haven't even seen. Oh, it is a nice one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. Oh, oh dude. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at that. Holy crap. That is my <laughs> biggest artificial fish. I'm gonna probably say. Oh my gosh. The front camera's not even on. I don't think. But I got this one on. Holy crap. Dude. Look at, oh my God. <laughs> That's a trophy catch. Yeah. I don't know how big it is, because I'm real bad at guessing. <laughs> well, that's a good birthday present. Yes. All right. We got to get an official weight here and everything. Dude, we didn't catch one over two pounds off this brush pile yesterday. Alright. Eight pounds, ten ounces. <laughs> does it look bigger than eight ten? Yes. It does. I don't think my scale's in my backpack. Dude. It's in my boat. We might have to take this one back to the marina yeah. and get a better weight. Because... It, I mean, it might only weigh eight ten, but does it look bigger than eight yes. ten to you? I was gonna say nine, but eight ten. I'm sure you want far. a picture of that. Yes. I got to get a picture of it too. But we'll we'll put it. It just looks bigger than eight ten. Hold on one second here. Nice. Hold them straight down. Get another one. I can send you these pictures and hold it out just a little bit. You know the drill. Oh, there we go. 
Awesome. Let's put them in the live. We'll weigh them at the marina because I'm sure you want a yeah, better way to that. That just does. It looks bigger than eight ten. Holy crap, dude! That is a giant. That was good. That's what I was, that trying. was awesome. I was trying to hold my tongue. The whole All right, so we were fishing brush piles in April, which anybody that fishes at the Kissimmee chain of lakes that's watching these videos knows that's generally not the time of the year to be fishing brush piles. But for whatever reason, I think I mentioned a little bit about it before. They're drawing the water levels down. They're pretty low right now, and they're still gonna draw them down another foot, I heard. Um, and we don't have a lot of main lake hydrilla right now, and the fish are kind of post-spawn. I'm sure there's still some fish that haven't spawned yet, but a lot of these, they're just on brush piles. We, I fished four brush piles yesterday in some pretty miserable weather, and we caught fish on every single one of them. So Ben and I started out on a shell bed this morning, and he caught one little one and lost one, and I missed one, and that was all we had on the shell bed. So we came back to this brush pile, I was having camera problems with this one. The battery died and uh, normal camera problems. Um, I wasn't even sure if this camera was running, but I checked back and it was. Um, oh, and he's got another one. So I'm sure I got good footage of it. He caught that eight pounder, 810. We're going to go weigh it because I think my scale's messed up. And now he's got number two on. It's a two pounder, pound, pound and three quarter. So anyway, he catches his personal best. We're Texas rigging, so I'm gonna tell I'm gonna talk about how I Texas rig or how I do it. Um, everybody throws a Texas rig worm. Everybody does it differently. A lot of people use offset hooks. I like, and I've explained this in previous videos. This is a four aught straight shank hook with a quarter ounce screw and bullet weight, and I've got it on 15 pound mono. And I know a lot of people like to throw braid, but when I'm fishing wood, I don't fish braid. Because braid tends to, if you're getting hooked, if you're getting snagged in the brush piles, the braid tends to eat down in the wood a lot more. It doesn't slide across the wood as, as well as monofilament will. I think Matt, you have a floral on yours, he has right? 15 he, has, he has 15 pound, we're both fishing 15. But I like this straight shanked hook with the screw and bullet weight because it comes through the brush cleaner than it would with an offset hook. And the way I rig that up is I'll show you here. I'll kind of enter the, the worm at an angle. This is a big 10 inch worm. Enter at an angle so that when, it, when you pull it down, see how it's sticking out at an angle? Now I can turn that hook around and it's got a natural flow to it. You can put the hook up against the worm there and see exactly the way it needs to enter. Where with an offset hook, most of the time you're running it straight back up through the worm and, and repuncturing it back into the worm. But this way, I'm never, I'm never bringing the hook out of the worm. See how, it's, see how nice and straight that is? And I didn't really leave a lot of extra room for the screw on this weight. And you don't have to, because it kind of screws down to the knot. I usually cut the straws out. I don't like the straw insert in there. But I'll pinch the head of the worm it screw it down in there and see how nice and see how that worms about as straight as you can get a worm on there and it's got a nice fluid flow that'll slide over that brush a lot better so i would never claim this is how to do it but this is how i do it like i've done in my other videos my how i do it videos 15 pound line four out hook quarter ounce screw in bullet weight and a 10 inch worm i fish the, do the doa trick worms a lot but right now they're eating a ribbon tail worm a lot better black with blue flake and we're just inching these things through these brush piles. Basically in Florida here, nope. when you're fishing a Texas rig worm, I tell this to people all the time, if you're moving it, you're going too fast. <laughs> That's basically yep. it. Throw it out there, move it around. It's paid off. That was the second cast that got that big fish. Again, it weighed 810 on my scale. It's a Florida trophy catch, but I've been having some problems with my scale. So we put them in the live well we're gonna take him back to the marina and weigh it on his certified scale because it's, it's the biggest fish he's caught on artificial. So make sure we get an accurate weight on it.
but we will be turning it loose back into the lake. But I have, oh, is that a bite? No, yep, here's a bite. Oh, he came off! Oh. Oh. The rod boat up good. Too. I know! I ticked that brush, I ticked a little bit of brush there and he went, It's a slow bite this morning. Missed one. You guys see that? <laughs> Camera got in the way. It probably looked way worse on on this end than it did in the camera. Your rod survived and the camera survived, so that's good. You never know your, if your rod survived until you make that until second hook set. Yeah. Dude, that, that fish was on there the whole time. I know, I, I saw you blow up. Man. I picked up and my, my line moved over this way and it didn't feel like anything. I picked back up and it was still moving over this way. So he had it for like 15 seconds yeah. and I still missed him. That's how well built those Yolo Tech poles are. <laughs> we, we think the camera's still filming. It's probably going. <laughs> yeah. Put that right after your tutorial about how to tie yeah. this rig. Here's how to Texas rig. Here's how to run a hundred dollar rod and seven hundred dollars worth of camera equipment. Jeez. Oh. I told you. Look at that. So he hung up. Oh, oh, oh. They come out? Oh, no, it's a good it's fish. Hung up. No, I'm no, breaking. He's out of it. He's out of it? Wait, it's a good fish. Is he out of it? Yeah. I'm breaking rods and uh, apparently they're in this brush pile. You see it? Yeah. I really thought I was hung when I said the hook. I think it. I think you were hung in the top. And it came up through it. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that fat joker. It's a nice fish. Yep. That was eventful. <laughs> yeah. Pretty exciting two minutes there. There's my. This is the professional guide. <laughs> Missed four fish today, haven't put one in the boat. I set my hook into my camera, break another rod. They are loaded on this one. Another good one. I didn't want a reel right now. He's not hung up, is he? No. I'm just going to stand here and land your fish. We just pulled up on this brush pile. I just cast on. Jeez.
That's another good fit. <laughs> oh. I think we'll be running up here next weekend. Yeah. That's a good, you know, he's probably he's probably four. Yeah. Or if not four, he's real close to it. So Ben and I are done fishing for the day. They didn't bite that good, but the ones that bit counted. I didn't catch any, Ben caught all of them. We still don't have an official weight on his big one. We're gonna run into the marina here and use their digital scale, then release the fish. Then he just caught a few small ones and then we came over here to this last brush pile and caught a couple more decent ones. But he probably had, just with three fish, had 16 or 17 pounds. And uh, who knows what I, the, my little rod breaking episode and the other, the other ones that I missed, how big those, the camera, there we go, um, how big those would have been. But it wasn't up to me to catch them today. I was supposed to help, this is Ben's birthday present from his wife. So I think he had a good time. But we're gonna go get an official weight on that fish. And uh, I might film us weighing it in, but if you don't see it on here, I obviously didn't. But please remember to subscribe to my channel and share it and like, and I'm gonna do some more giveaways like I did couple videos ago but I'm gonna do them bigger and better thanks for watching